بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لسننگ پروسیس ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹ اٹس ویری امپارٹنٹ یو ہیو لرنڈ اباؤٹ آرل کمیونیکیشن اینڈ لسننگ اسکلس اینڈ امپارٹنس آف لسننگ اسکلس سو ہاؤ لسننگ پروسیس ول ورک پریکٹیکلی ان یور مائنڈ اینڈ یور لائف لیٹس ورک ٹاک اباؤٹ اٹ سو دیر آر سکس اسٹیپس آف لسننگ پروسیس آن دا فرسٹ دیر از ریسیونگ فرسٹ یو آر گیٹنگ انپٹ دین یو آر انپرٹنگ ریمبرنگ evaluating then responding accordingly or taking action so this is the final requirement of any listening process for example you are now listening a lecture and if you can't act according to the given instructions then your listening will be flawed one so how this listening process work uh, let's go for the first one receiving receiving is basically the physical hearing of the message mean taking note of the message mean crux what someone is saying you are hearing that thing there may be few possible barriers which may affect your receiving it may be a noise probably poor hearing if you have poor hearing and if you have lack of attention that's why they are not hearing properly so both are same in some way if you have physically poor hearing skills uh, their ears are not working well so that may be a barrier and probably someone his ears are working well but he is not attentive so these may be the possible barriers and when you are receiving you are getting that or hearing that message then you need to avoid these barriers so that you can receive effectively and the rest is then within yourself what you are trying to do so first the reception is reception is getting clear you are receiving the things clearly then everything would be fine so on the first step after avoiding these possible barriers when you receive the message the second st- stage comes and that is interpreting what is interpreting earlier on in my lectures i have discussed with you uh, the difference between translation and interpretation so this is the interpretation this is inference of the speaker's meaning what the speaker is saying you are trying to understand the same thing so you link his words with your own experience your expectation as well as values belief ideas and your needs and accordingly you interpret the meaning so isi liye jo hai accordingly you do understand the same meaning sometime aapko pata hai ki aapka focus zindagi mein kisi ek cheez pe hi hota hai to koi kuch aur baat bhi bol raha ho to aap use apne beliefs ke mutabik us taraf le jate hain but here you need to be neutral and try to understand and interpret something in its context so this is interpreting because if you do interpret properly what the uh, sender is trying to say and you are receiving it properly and interpreting it properly then you can work accordingly and the desired result of communicative instance can be achieved so in the listening process second step is interpreting uh, for this thing you may need not to you may need to consider whether the speaker's frame of reference that's what i'm talking about کہ جس فریم آف ریفرنس میں وہ بات کر رہے ہیں اسی فریم آف ریفرنس میں آپ نے اس کو سمجھنے کی کوشش کرنی ہے آپ اگر اپنے فریم آف ریفرنس میں ہر چیز کو لا کے انڈرسٹینڈ کرنے کی کوشش کریں گے تو دیٹ وڈ بی ڈفرینٹ سو دیٹس وائی آئی سیڈ یو نیڈ ٹو بی اے بٹ نیوٹرل ان انٹرپریٹنگ دین دا تھرڈ از ریمبرنگ مین ایٹ دا مومنٹ آئی ایم اسپیکنگ سو مچ سم ٹائم اینی اسپیکر اسپیک سو مچ دین یو اسٹور دا میسیج فار دا فیوچر ریفرنس اف یو وانٹ ٹو آس دا کوشچن یوزلی and uh, during the lecture student asks the question and asks them let me finish so when i ask them let me finish in the meanwhile they store the message they remember after receiving after interpreting they store the message and they take a mental note of what i have said or what the other speaker is saying they take the mental note now they have retained that message it is it is retaining after interpreting retaining that message for the future reference then with your own experience you consider the points whatever you have retained whatever you have uh, uh, basically stored in your mind then now it is important to consider the points mentioned and assess their important everything which has been said that is not important but there are few points which are very important so then you evaluate the whole message for example in the whole message you have heard listened 400 or 5 4000 words but probably the most important one are 100 or 1000 so you need to separate the fact from opinion and assess the quality of facts and what is the real crux of the message so you need to evaluate the whole information that you have listened now after evaluating you would respond 
response is uh, now this is something after listening now you are going uh, towards after retaining that you are going towards respond you you responding is basically reaction whatever you are listening how you react against that that is called your response mean first uh, you receive the message then you uh, interpret it then remember it and then evaluate after evaluating then the fourth step you start responding so then you are reacting now this is a practical stage it means your listening is in the right direction so you react uh, sometime for example you react in like for with verbal feedback sometime non verbally you nod or shake your head uh, shake your head uh, in negation and nod your head uh, for agreement and sometime if there is a big audience in the front of the larger audience you do laugh or applaud when you are addressing them so this is a kind of uh, response and sometime you keep quiet when you think that it's not good to respond at the moment you keep quiet so this is about responding and the second step of responding is acting which is basically the sender what what demands when he is speaking to you he needs any action from you for example you are the manager of any company and your um, subordinate is coming to you and he is complaining about something and then after listening and if the listening is successful then definitely in the written form uh, you will write down something uh, that's what we are talking here very often action is vital some on some occasions communication and itself usne baat ki baat khatam ho gayi lekin kuch jagah pe action required hote hain so they are very important um, so it is important to put all promised action into writing so lihaza wo write up kar liye jate hain ya un pe deliver aisa kiya jata hai likhe bagair ke as it is said usually that action speaks louder than words so sometime it is in the written form you do deliver your action and sometime your action is the response of basically that listening your ac action is basically what you have done against this listening so it will reflect all this thing so you need to deliver all your promises whether in the written form or whether in a practical action so this is the action here the process of listening gets completed until action is not received so it we can't say that process the listening is not effective so this is about process of listening and we have discussed one hurdle uh, in listening and that uh, that was here and we will discuss further that hurdle was particularly in receiving there are few other problems or barrier of listening we will discuss in the next lecture